And it, I feel compassion for the rest of the world. I feel that this is wrong. I feel that, you know, for someone's life to be affected by the actions of others without having a say in how those actions should be is the ultimate, the, the, the top level of stupidity from humanity. You talk in your book about how this, the sort of wealth disparity will only increase. Yeah, massively. The, the, the immediate impact on jobs is that, and it's really interesting, huh? Again, we're stuck in the same prisoner's dilemma. The immediate impact is that AI will not take your job. A person using AI will take your job, right? So you will see within the next few years, maybe next couple of years, uh, you'll see uh, uh, a lot of people skilling up, upskilling themselves in AI to the point where they will do the job of 10 others who are not, okay? Uh, you, you rightly said, it's absolutely wise for you to go and ask AI a few questions before you come and do an interview. I'm, you know, I, I have been attempting to build a, a, a you know, sort of a, like a, a simple podcast that I call Bedtime Stories, you know, 15 minutes of wisdom and nature sounds before you go to bed. People say I have a nice voice, right? And I wanted to look for fables. And for a very long time, I didn't have the time. You know, there's lo lovely stories of history or tradition that teach you something nice, okay? 